Hi, welcome to Yoga Attic. I'm Jessica Hatchett and I teach yoga in West Cork in Ireland. Um, my website's yogawestcork.com and I'm here today to teach you a flowing sequence which is based around a downward facing dog, scorpion dog and uh, we'll use plank pose and come into pigeon. Um, so this is a flowing sequence which um, it would be good to have done a bit of a warm-up first, so if you can maybe follow one of Esther's warm-up sequences, a few sun salutes, or even um, you can come into a few cat poses now just to, to loosen up. So um, as we go through it, um, I'm going to be taking you through the breathing as well. Um, and the aim with this flow is that it's um, to loosen up tension. So you're loosening up tension in the hips, the shoulders, the back. Um, and also just have some awareness of your energy in the body, how it flows. And you're trying to get the energy flowing a bit so it's invigorating. And we're also working with the lymphatic system. So the lymphatic system is the, the fluid that flows in the body, um, which helps to clear out the body of, of germs so it helps the immune system. So it's important to really get this flowing. Um, and we'll, we'll work from there. So um, you're going to come on to all fours to start. And we're going to start this pose from all fours, uh, coming down into to child's pose. So child's pose is where you release down into the arms, into the hips, letting the head come to the ground. If that's uncomfortable, you can just bring your hands under your head to support your neck. We're just going to spend just a couple of breaths here, bringing your awareness into your body, into the ground that you're lying on. And you can start here breathing in ujjayi breath and that's the breath in the throat that Esther's done a tutorial on previously so if you're not familiar you can follow that as well so just start to connect with the breathing feeling the way the exhalation lets your body become heavy soft and relaxed just sinking down now I want you to become aware of your inhalation and when you're ready on your next inhalation, you're going to come up onto the hands, move the hands forward a pace. And then as you exhale, you're rolling over your knees, bring your thighs first, then the hips then the belly, chest, shoulders to the ground, letting your face release onto the ground. And just spend a moment here, oh, just sinking, which is really nice just to lie on the ground and let everything release. Okay, so from here, you're going to bring your hands under your shoulders on the inhalation, pushing into the hands, coming up through cobra, feeling the back, then releasing back down into child's pose. So coming down and exhale completely here, bringing the head down to the ground. So on the inhalation, coming up, move the hands and exhale, rolling down. So we're going to continue like this, flowing on the breath, inhaling to roll up through the back. And exhale, coming back down again into child. Once more there, coming up. This is a really nice way of warming up as well. I call it Indian push-up. And it's just a way of releasing tension in the back, getting the back mobile, the hips and the shoulders released. Okay, so from here, we're going to come up into plank pose. You're going to come forward off the knees, over the hands, and just strengthening the back, the shoulders in plank pose. And then we're going to come to downward dog from here. So your knees come to the ground. And I want you to come into a soft downward dog. We're not going to straighten the legs. You're going to keep the knees a bit bent. So from here, push into the hands, the feet, lift the knees, keep the knees a bit bent, and really send your hips back far behind the hands. So you're stretching out the arms. And then wag your tail a bit, and that'll release... Tension in the, the hips, the legs, the spine. Then from here, come forward into plank pose again. Inhale forward. Exhale back into a soft downward dog. Inhaling forward. Exhaling, coming back. So from here, I'm going to take you into scorpion dog. Bring the right foot into the midline. Keep lots of work in the hands, pushing the hips back. Lift the left foot up. And it disappears. You're just sending the foot up into the air, feeling a stretch in the right leg. And then what's nice to do is try opening the hips. So you're releasing, looking under the armpits, strong. And just notice your breathing again. 
and then rotating back into alignment. Then from here, you're going to bring your knee in and draw the knee in, which you'll feel stretching the back, and then bring your knee forward as if you're going to a lunge, but not quite. You're just going to hold that there, and then we'll flow with the breath. So trying that, inhaling up into scorpion, exhaling forward, feeling your shoulders working, really working as far forward as you can. Imagine your body's like a wave machine now. All the energy, the fluid in the body is being moved and strengthening all the joints. Keep the breath flowing once more here, inhaling up. This time we're going to come to pigeon. So just bring the knee forward as you've been doing, but now release the knee to the, the left thumb. Okay, so the knee is coming forward. Now rotate the foot under your right hip. And from here you're going to keep the toes tucked under in the right foot and slide back until your knee can come to the ground. You're going to keep those toes tucked under because that'll keep a, an element of support in the hip and you're not going to drop too low. Then I want you to be aware of your hips and not drop into the left hip here. So you're keeping the hips in alignment. Now we're going to take some of the pressure off the hands by using the core muscles, strengthen the belly by lifting up, and that'll then give you an opening in the chest. You feel your lower back contracting. And just take a moment here, breathing, feeling that deep stretch happening in the hip. So this is really opening and releasing tension in the hip. Then we're going to come down, release the toes on the right leg and come onto the arms and just slide down into the ground. This is a deep stretch for the hip, but you should feel your back being able to release down. Again, avoid dropping into the hip. You're keeping the hips in alignment, and you can bring your head down at that moment, okay? So just coming up again, spend as long as you want there. Or you can come up onto the hands, tuck the toes under in the right foot, and we're going to come back to downward dog. So on an inhale, come up, and again, walking like you're padding the feet, releasing the hips, stretching out. Come forward into plank, inhaling, exhaling down to the knees and into child's pose. Inhaling up, come into Indian push-up again, rolling all the way down. Once more, coming up and back into downward dog. So we're going to go onto the other side now. So you're lifting up into downward dog. And from here, scorpion dog. So lift, bring the left foot into the midline, lift your right foot up and extend up into scorpion dog. Really engage into the hands and the heel on the left foot here, strengthening the legs, the shoulders, the back. Then you can open so you feel your chest expanding and really explore opening into the chest there, releasing the hips and then rotating back to alignment. And we'll do this knee lunging movement here. So come forward and try not to get stuck here. Bring your weight forward as if you were doing plank pose. So you're coming forward, inhaling, coming up. Flow with the body and again, like a wave machine, you're moving the energy, getting the shoulders and the hips to release. Ujjayi breathing if you can. Once more, inhaling, and then we're going to come through to pigeon on the right side. So you bring your right knee to the right thumb, rotate the right foot under like this, keeping the toes tucked under in the back leg and slide back until you can find your knee. Okay, and then from here, again, engaging into the core muscles to give you support. So lifting from the belly opening the chest, feeling the heart expanding and the lower back contracting. And just take a few moments here breathing, feeling that deep stretch in the hip. And then we're going to let it go, coming down again, minding you're not dropping the hips, keeping them aligned. Release the toes, come down onto your hands. And then you can spend a few moments just releasing there. So take your time there if you want to. We're coming back again up onto the hands. Tuck your toes under and we'll lift up on the inhale into dog. And exhale when you get there. And then inhale forward into plank. Exhale down to the knees and into child. 
Last time, Indian push-up, inhaling up. Exhale, rolling down. Back into child, inhaling. And exhaling, release. So from here, you might want to just rest. The, the shoulders and arms might be a bit tired, so you might bring the hands back. And really let your body release here. Sinking down, what's also nice, you can try, is just spending the last few breaths. <sighs> Releasing. So find a spot that you can just rest in and really observe the flow of the breath, feeling the energy flowing, releasing. And then you might want to, to just finish with some breathing. So noticing ujjayi breath again, maybe sitting. So just notice your breath. Spend as long there as you want to. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you.